all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you again we are live on air please invite your friends and share the link with people you know uh, the reason i came back because it looked like there's a muslim he insists he want to talk to me and uh, i could not resist this muslim obviously he think he know and he have answers and he said to me let us do reasoning together so, Mr. Idris, if you are listening, please call me. All right. Now you can call. Please, guys, invite your friends. And let us see what this Muslim, he have to say to us. Let us see how smart he is. Maybe he's smarter than the rest of the Muslims. I hope he did not make me go on air, but he will not call now. That will be very nice. You know what? Let me call him. <coughs> Hello? Yes, Mr. Uh, Adris. Hello? Yes, Mr. Adris. Do you hear me? No, not again. Hello? Not again. Hello? Yeah, all right. Hold on. Okay, do you hear me now? Yeah, I'm getting you. I'm getting you. All right. Wonderful. My friend, I told you not to call me when I am off air, but you keep calling me. And uh, there's yeah, no point of I calling me if I am not live. Anyway, we are we are live on air. What do you want to say to me, Mr. Uh, Abdullahi Idris? Uh, presently, now you are trying to present the issue about uh, Ibrahim. Abraham, to me, Mr. Uh, right? What, uh, and you sir, what say, Abraham? Abraham, hello. I just want to. I don't want to go uh, debate myself from this very important topic that you are talking about. What? About uh, Abraham. What is the issue about Abraham? You know, now. What is the issue about Abraham? Yeah, well, about Abraham, you talk say that Abraham hmm. doesn't. He was mentioned in the Quran wrongly. Right, sure, everything and about Abraham and the Quran is wrong. Let me die, let me die before you worry me, please. Mm -hmm. And you are saying that Abraham has two sons, but it is only one son that he can repeat it in the present, but in the, in the in the particular bus that you just show. I cannot even cram, I mean, actualize the the certain uh, chapter, but I know the verse is. Verse four. Okay. But first of all, down, first of all, who said to you that Abraham? <laughs> where I said Abraham, he have two sons. I did not say that. Secondly, your Quran mentioned that Abraham. Has three sons. If you say Quran mentioned he has three sons. He has what? And you know, the language the Quran is using there. You can you can you keep your mouth from the mic away? The Hold on. Can you, can you keep your mic a little bit? Listen, Abdullah, text. Abdullah, what's this? What, what little bit? Can you keep your mic away from the mic from the, uh, your mouth? Because it's making a bad noise. Keep your mouth away from the mic a little bit. I'm using my phone because it was around two o'clock here in my All country. Right. Now, now, your God, what is the name of the father of Abraham? The father of Abraham is Azara. Okay. That's what the Quran says. Who is the donkey who said that? Do you have it in the Bible? Yes. What is the name of the father of uh, Abraham in the Bible? Okay, if we search right now and we find what the name of Abraham in the Bible and we find that the Quran is wrong, what you will do? Yeah, you say always the Quran is always right. No, Why I'm, am saying, I saying I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you, my friend. If we search right now for the name of the father of Abraham in the Bible and we find mm -hmm. that the name which mentioned in the Quran is not correct, what you will do? Then do you mean that the Bible is saying right? Hmm. No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. If we showed you that it's wrong before we show you, what yes. you would do? If this is wrong, what you would do? I will. How am I going to show sure that your Bible is right? Okay. How am I going? What to is sure the that? reason for the Jews to change the name of the father of Abraham? The Jew. Yeah. Why they want to change? Like, who is going to change? What is the benefit of changing the name? This is a book written thousand of years before even your prophet was even exist. So why, yes. why, 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 remember, why the Jews, why the Jews, why the Jews, listen, why the Jews, yeah. my friend, that mm. book that you are reading, you are reading a book mm. that has a kind of a problem sometimes. 
Mm, sometime, but this is another question now. Another question: Why the Jews will change even the name of Abraham's father? Why they want to do that? Who changed it? Who changed I'm it? asking you why the name of Azar is exist in the Are Quran. Azar, Azar is not the name of the father of Abraham. Then what is the name of the father of Tara? Tara, Tara. Father of Abraham in your Bible. Tara. And remember, you said the Tara. His name is Tara. How how he became how the name of the father of Abraham became Azar. Explain to me how your God he make how your God is God, but he makes such a stupid mistake. Azar in the Aramaic language means foolish. Listen, Azar, Azar in the Aramaic language are Azar. Shut up, shut up, idiot. Don't talk over me. We cannot talk in the same time. We cannot talk in the same time. Don't be a donkey. We cannot talk in the same time. Let me talk. Let me explain to you. As are in the shut up, you see, you are you are you are you are a very trashy person. You cannot even have a conversation. You are like the devil. You are possessed. You are possessed. You are bewitched like your prophet. Let me talk, and you will let you talk. I will let you talk. I will let you talk. You donkey. We cannot talk in the same time. We cannot talk in the same time. You see how stupid you are, donkey. I mean, how you can talk to those people? You have the devil inside you. I will call you back, but you keep your mouth shut at least for 30 seconds. What's wrong with those people? <laughs> Why do you call it? Why, why do you close? Don't it? speak too much. Let me talk and I will let you talk. Let us speak like adult. Be a human. Don't be like a, like like but like an like an like don't be like an animal in the zoo. Let me talk. Let me talk. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me talk for 30 seconds and I will give you the mic. And I will give you the mic. Okay, shut up. Shut up. Okay, shut up. Okay. In the Bible, the name of the let me talk. In the Bible, the name of the father the father of Abraham is Terah. How the name of the father of Abraham in the Quran became Azar, which means foolish. The mic is yours. Then the question I will, I will ask you here is this. What is the name of God in the Hebrew language? What is the name of God in the Arabic? In Arabic? Yes. Which God? The, the, God, the name of God in Arabic. And what is the name of Rob, God in Arabic? There's no the name. There's, no, there's, there's many gods. Which one? Your God? I mean the God Almighty. What is the name of God? You remember? Now, why you change the topic? Why? We, we will go to the Arabic. We will go to the Arabic. Hold on. Why the name of the father of Abraham? Hold on. Why the name of the father of Abraham is mistake in the Quran? Explain to us. Oh, I ask you, what is the name of, of the... Which God? Which name? God? Which I'm God in Arabic? Which name? God? Arabic which God? You donkey. What's wrong with you? Language. Stop talking. Which in God? Arabic. Which God? Arabic. Which God? When you say, are you a donkey or what? Something. Why not copy the name of the God in Hebrew and put it in English? What is the name of the God in Arabic? Which it's God? Allah. Which is God? Which God? No, 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 no. It's not God. The Which God? God in Arabic is Allah. This is the stupid. You see, this is a, this is a stupid. Is this is stupid of you, Allah Abdul. Allah you are a stupid donkey. You are a stupid donkey. Allah, Allah is not is not the name of God in Arabic. Big mouth. I can't talk to this guy. Just get lost. It's like a faucet in the sink. I have a headache even I but before I start talking. We have another Muslim. Hello? Fucking nigger! Fucking nigger! Fucking nigger! Here we go. Hello? Hello? Yes. Uh, hello. Go ahead, I hear you. <clears throat> uh, um who's uh, playing this um i uh, hello um i just want to ask something because you are talking about um aza that um because um you said that not the name of as uh, of um abraham's father right mm. yeah so how how the Quran he is God? This is the one is talking here supposedly Allah. How the God of Islam could not even quote the name of the Muhammad correctly? What do you think? Um, my question now is on that since 
been um, see that we um, don't have a reasonable connection why the name of the father of Abraham is different than the name of the father in the Torah. Hmm. I don't know if there is any Hebrew dialect or tribe or anything we can reference hmm. it, hmm. or if Muhammad was a good listener hmm. when she claimed to have this revelation. That's the point where we have to get, because we can say, even when in Hebrew there is a God that, that has the name Allah, it can't be the same God than what Muhammad claims. This is not, we are talking about no Azar now, we are effort. talking about Azar, focus on one yeah, thing yeah, at yeah, a time. You know, yeah. yeah, one thing and another, mm. I understand that, mm. but uh, I want to know how Muhammad even received the name of Azar. How he came up with even in the idea that it is Aza. No. That, um, he did not come with the idea. Him. Let me tell you why. Muhammad is a thief. He was copying from the book of Waraka ibn Nawfal. Waraka ibn Nawfal, he was trans translating from the Old Testament and the New Testament into a new Arabic book. So in his book, look like he wrote some Arabic words and some words. He keep it as it is because he did not know what they mean. So when he spoke about Abraham, he put after him, Azar, he spoke to his father Azar, but Azar is an Aramaic word mean foolish or stupid. So what, what the verse was saying that Abraham was saying to his father, foolish, are you going to worship idols? So if you replace the word father, father here with the word foolish, it makes perfect sense, right? Okay. Because there's no uh, point, no point to say to his father, let us say my father, his name is Joseph. So he said to his father, Joseph. I mean, he have one father anyway, right? Mm -hmm. Do I need to say the father name after? Uh, if he said something to his father, say he said, uh, the second you said his the name, the, you said the, the, the his father. It's mean we told you told us already it was he. So his father Azar. What is the point? This is not the name of uh, the father. He was saying to him, Azar, are you going to worship idols as gods? And that makes sense. Foolish. Are you going to worship idols as God? So, so um, Muhammad, because he is uh, a thief, and the one who he stole from him, he is a thief too, and they do not know what the word Azar means, so they thought Azar, it's a name. Uh -huh. And because it's a foreign word, for them it appeared like maybe it's a appear right away after the name of Abraham, the uh, father of Abraham, so it must be the father of Abraham. And that is again ad additional proof that Muhammad is a false man and a false prophet. Uh -huh. um, so... Uh, my next question is you are talking about a scripture of a Valaka or something that these Coptic people have because you know uh, the, uh, Islam uses always the word Kufar if someone don't quote right scripture so we have something Muhammad took from a Kufar that don't go to the Israelite scriptures but we have clear evidence for example um, Surah 10, um, verse 94 says that we have to go to the real Hebrews, that we know how to pray to the Almighty God that uh, brought the Israelites out of Egypt, right? Mm. So, how mm -hmm. can Muhammad make even the decision when he is copying from Kufa? Yeah, but you see, uh, for, uh, you see, we we'll notice everything uh, Muslims have is not have nothing to do with Muhammad. As an example, the word you are using, kuffar, kuffar is mm -hmm. this is not an Arabic word. You see, the, the funny, the the Muslim they say to us, the Quran is a pure Arabic book, right? This is what the Quran says, which I know, uh, uh, Quran and Arabic and Gira the awaj. So mm -hmm. we made it a pure Arabic, but yet the word kuffar is an Aramaic word. And it means that the one who cover things, the one who hide things. So this is why you see, like in uh, even in Egypt, um, or in Syria, or in Jordan, or in uh, uh, Israel, there is towns they call them kafar, kafar, which means far away. It's hiding. Nobody knows about it, like in the middle of nowhere. So uh, uh, Muhammad, obviously, he is a thief. Everything he have is taken from somebody else. But yet he claimed that his Quran is a pure Arabic and that's again is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet because Muhammad obviously 
when he claimed that this is Quran is a pure Arabic either he is not aware that most of the words he used including the word Quran is not Arabic or he is aware but he just said that is just like you know to to deceive and that does not make sense because people around him they are Arab and they knew that this is not Arab so even the Muslims they, they have um, a long um, search they have a long reference Muslims about how many Arabic words oh, sorry how many words in the Quran are not Arabic mm -hmm. like right away when when uh, when supposedly Allah spoke to Muhammad in the first chapter he said to him read right read and then he says read itself itself in the original of it is not Arabic mm -hmm. it's coming from the Aramaic from Qarra wa Ra'a which means saying something and seeing something you you say what you saw and then you will see right away Allah he says that he taught by Al-Qalam Al-Qalam is not an Arabic word too and that repeated in many time in the Quran so everything in the Quran almost every chapter every verse in the Quran is something stolen from somebody the, the language the words the sentence the names and he got it he got everything you know wrong as an example if you ask a Muslim okay in the Quran we will find the name Israel who is Israel um, let me get on the point hmm. um, Israel um, is also found in the scriptures as Bani Israel the next point is from some Hebrews they are having the word Salam Salam means peace or Salama but no, 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 my friend, my friend, this is another question I'm asking you. Are you, are, you are, are you a Muslim or not? Um, I believe as Christ and all things the Jews did, but I was growing also up in Islam, but I study more and more the Bible. And then since I know you video, since I know many other resources, um, I just try to find out where this Things, his claims against the Bible, against the Israelite came uh, from a book. So, so what are you now? What are you now? You are not sure you are a Muslim no more because you are watching my videos? No. Yes, and okay. many other things. My friend, focus with me on the question then. I said to you, if we ask, let us say you are still a Muslim, and if I ask you, because I see your name is an Arabic name, if I ask you what Israel is based in Islam, what you will say to me? Based in Islam, not in the Bible. What Israel? The Quran yeah. keeps saying Israel, 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 more than 40 times. Okay. Who is Israel if we were now? If I'm a Muslim and I have the Quran and I want to know who is Israel, who is Israel? Okay. Um, just let me look um, if there is anything uh, useful in the Quran what I can nothing. say about it. There is nothing. Um, what is the story of what is the story of Jacob became Israel because this is what the story in the Bible we will find how Israel became Israel God he called him Israel so how Israel became Israel in Islam we do not know there's nothing it just says suddenly uh, um, uh, Muhammad he says say, children of Israel <laughs> uh, hold on um, you said that um, Israel be um, became the name of Jacob but yeah. when we go uh, in other scriptures we see that Israel was already a name independent from Jacob, but hmm. it's the leadership of Jacob that Jacob becomes. Hmm. And for example, but who gave the name to Jacob? Who gave the what? What? What the name was given to Jacob? The name to Jacob was given Israel. Okay, by who? By who? Was the son no problem. But but who is the one? The all, from okay. The all okay, so now God. Muhammad he's talking about the children of Jacob, right? When the Quran speak, because the Quran speak about Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and then he says suddenly, "Yeah, Bani Israel, oh children of Israel." But shouldn't you tell us first who is Israel? Israel uh, is all. The prophets of the tribe. They are Israel. Israel. No, is no, 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 my, no, 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 my friend. No, no. Israel is, is specifically is Jacob, and this is what Muhammad is talking about. If you go to the books of interpretation, you will find that the Muslims they quote from the Bible to prove that this is Jacob. So all the Muslims agree that this is about one person. He is a man. This is why you see the Quran. It says that we forbid nothing on Israel except what he forbid in himself. Speaking about him as an individual. If you go to chapter 3, verse number 93, you will see the following. 
Okay. Read with me. Um, read with me. Read with me, please. So, Before you come to the conclusion, read. All food was lawful um, into I, the children um, of Israel, just, except um, off the screen for a while because I hear things double. But I'm you can going mute, right now. You can mute, mute the so YouTube. Yeah, mute the YouTube so you will not hear it twice. So okay, read with me carefully. All food was lawful into the children of Israel, save that which Israel forbid himself. So it was a guy. His name is Israel, correct? Himself. So children mm -hmm. of Israel are children of a man. His name is Israel. And all the food was lawful for Israel, except what he forbid himself. All right. So now Israel himself is a person. One guy. Mm -hmm. Who is he? And this is we know that the, this is how we know in a very easy way that the Quran is made by a stupid idiot person because how you present to us a person without telling us who is he how we will know now who is this guy Israel mm. how I'm going to find uh, out this Israel himself who is he Israel himself okay who is Israel himself shouldn't the, the, the Quran do what the what the Torah da, does and tell us okay this is a guy his name etc God did with him etc and he called him he changed his name from etc to etc and then we will understand but suddenly you put for us Israel there okay who is this guy okay um you said that it says he um and my question now is um we can go also to the arabic linguistic because uh, linguistic because sometimes when you say he hmm. you can say also they so no my friend no in arabic we cannot that? do that no we cannot do that no here we go this okay. is that this is the text in the front of me it says kullu ta'ami kana hillan li bani israila illa ma harrama israila ala nafsihi on himself there's no doubt about it and you can read any interpretation okay. you want feel free mm -hmm. yeah so obviously the one who wrote the Quran is a stupid because when you write if I write a novel right now and I am an author mm -hmm. of a book and I say to you suddenly in the story a guy uh, Israel he forbid himself from the food aren't you going to say to me what's wrong with this guy who's Israel suddenly a guy mm -hmm. named jump in the book he was talking about uh, Abraham, he was talking about Isaac, he was talking about Jacob, and then suddenly he says, Israel, he forbid himself from food. Who is Israel? Mm -hmm. Any smart this writer thing, with little um, intelligence should present first the, the, the person. Mm -hmm. Like if I want to tell you about a guy and you never heard of him, shouldn't you shouldn't you ask me, okay, who is this guy first? Or you're talking about who? Yeah. So Muhammad, uh, because he's a thief, he took the mm -hmm. name and he is just like you know he uh, he is a person who have a flight of thought he cannot mm -hmm. he is not he is not focused in one topic and he is like he, suddenly and he mixed like if you read the stories here suddenly he's talking about israel and then suddenly he's talking about uh, uh, uh about uh, the city it's called bakka and said so suddenly he's talking why people of the book uh, uh, you are being kuffar and i mean what is the connection there's nothing you read the chapter there's okay. no connection um we we don't have connection on this part but we have some parallels. For example, the people of the book are called Israelites in the Quran. You no, find, no, uh, no, no, no. Not only one person. Or do, will you say that no. every pure notation in the Quran talks only of one person, Israel, and then says, okay, all other things before is the people of the book. My friend, people of the book in the Quran is not, that, is, is, is a statement used when you want to put together two groups which is the Jews and the Christians when the Quran speak about the Jews alone either he called them mm -hmm. Yahud or he called them children of Israel mm -hmm. when you want to talk about the Christian alone he called them Nasara when you talk about both he called them people of the book so uh, are you saying there was no other people of the book than the basic Jews and the basic Christians uh, that's, that's it. Um, yes, uh, Yahud, Yahud, and Nasara. That's it. This is what the Quran have. Okay, hmm. you say it has nothing more else that uh, is necessary to link with the Quran as prophets that came from God, besides of the Jewish Israelites and the Christian. Or is there a third party? We don't know. Um, talking about what the Quran says that there is only two okay. group are called people of the book which mean the Quran give only 
that title to the group the, the, the Yahud the Jews and the Nasara so anyone else is not a people of the book which means he have no book and the God of Islam don't approve his book that is as simple as that now here we we notice that Muhammad he is mixing things up as an example if you go and now and ask any Jew about what Muhammad said in the Quran that there's a guy his name is Uzair and he is the son of Allah you will not find one Jew ever heard of this before nobody okay. no one no history not a single line in the history of the Jews reported that there is a person his name is Uzair and the Jews believe he is the son of God this is what the Quran is saying and this is again Muhammad is being a foolish stupid and I believe mm -hmm. here Muhammad he was misunderstanding a, a, a group of the Jews who believe in Jesus to be the son of God they are Jews mm -hmm. who believe you see the, the, the issue is that the, uh, uh, the Nasara themselves the, the, the name Nasara uh, originally they are people who they are Jews and they believe in the Messiah but they have they are like Jehovah's Witnesses they have a wrong belief so those Nasara are not the Christians the Nasara have nothing to do with the Christianity uh, but Muhammad he thought that the, the Christians are the Nasara because this is what he met around him he did not meet uh, other kind maybe and in the same time he met a group of the Jews who they are Jews but in the same time they believe in the Messiah as a son of God but here Muhammad obviously he is quoting a wrong name from them he thought the name is Ezra mm -hmm. but there's nowhere um, to find such a name the only solution for this that those are Jews who believe in mm -hmm. the Messiah but mm -hmm. Muhammad is quoting a name he heard from them but he could not quote it correctly um, yeah um, can I ask you a question mm. about the case you saying there is only one guy that is called Israel but we have also the connotation children of Israel for example if to Al Israel what this guy is talking about well Al Israel Man, some people are really weird. Well, Isra. Yes, my friend. You Paris. said you said there's um, a there's a there's a there's a man. His name Al Isra. Um, no. Uh, maybe there is Al Isra. I talk totally, um talking about the Surah Al Isra. It's Surah seventeen. My friend, my friend, this is a different story. Al Isra, Al Isra is not in Israel. Ezra is is a, is a flying is going somewhere have nothing to do with Israel is about somebody who was sent to somewhere is um, we are speaking to the children of Israel it's the first I wanted to read in um, surah 1704 it says to the children of Israel um, that uh, so what, what, what about it what about the children of Israel it's all over the Quran what about it it's not mm -hmm. only in that chapter or over the Quran it says the children of Israel so yeah so we see that Israel is one time like you said one crowd, uh, my one friend crowd. do you speak Arabic are you are you drunk the children of Muhammad the guy his name is Muhammad that the people are the children the children of Abraham Abraham is a guy his children are the group the children of Christian Prince Christian Prince is a man his children is a group what's wrong with you so why you are missing up things take it easy Israel is a man is one man is not a ten men so the children of Israel that they are not the children of many one guy who forbid himself from eating food and all the Muslims agree with that unless you want to come with a new religion it's called Islam uh, of Israel all the Muslims agree that Israel is one guy and he's a prophet so I want you to wake up with me otherwise I'm going to lose my patience with you all right the, the Muslims yeah. believe that Israel is a prophet one guy not a gang <laughs> not 10 not 12 uh, not a 20 uh, take it easy my friend take it easy think with me so he is a prophet he is a man he is not 10 he is not a 20 and the Quran confirmed that and the Quran says the children of Israel so our 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 question is if Muhammad is not a stupid how in the world he said us to us 
the children of Israel, but yet he did not tell us who is Israel. How in the world now I will know who is Israel? Same as when we, you know, you see the Muslims, the funny thing about them, I saw a video of a Muslim saying, okay, the Bible written by John, John who? will open the book of John, you will find from the beginning, John is speaking about himself. But if we ask Muslims, the Quran say the name of Muhammad, Muhammad who? How I will know who is this guy, his name is Muhammad. Nowhere in the Quran it says who is Muhammad. So is it the one that uh, finds the Quran rules? <laughs> who is Muhammad? Okay, you see, the, the Muslim they say to us, okay, the, the Bible uh, mentioned names. Who are those, those names? Okay, who is Muhammad? No, the Bible mentioned names and we know them. Mm. But in the Quran, there's nowhere it says who is Muhammad. Okay, but who is Muhammad? Muhammad was not the father of any of your men. But who is Muhammad? Shouldn't you tell us? Muhammad mm -hmm. was exist where he he is born where who is the father of Muhammad who is the family of Muhammad what is the nation of Muhammad there is nothing about Muhammad so mm -hmm. the God of no, the Quran the, the God of the Quran he did not mention to us anything he gave us just he he throw names at us and he assumed that all of us we knew them mm -hmm. that's why because Muhammad was speaking between people who don't they knew what he is talking about. And he was mm -hmm. not receiving verses from God. He was making mm -hmm. things up, so he did not need to, to do introduction. But if God is made a book for generation to come, then he will make it clear and he will say, Okay, this is the guy, his name is Muhammad, the son of Abdullah. Even the Bible, when the Bible speak about Jesus, they will say to you that Jesus is the son of etc., the son of etc., because this is the habit of the Jews. They give you mm -hmm. like a long list of, of a father of a son of son of son of son of son of son of son and then they go all the way to David now here mm -hmm. we suddenly we find Muhammad okay Muhammad is mm -hmm. the father of no one who is Muhammad and then in different mm -hmm. verse in the Quran Muhammad suddenly his name became Ahmad mm -hmm. in different place his name became Mustafa okay who is Muhammad Muhammad he have 99 names some Muslim even they say have he have 1000 names so mm -hmm. who is this guy Muhammad how we will know is he no definition who is Israel no definition we try to find who is Abraham we find that the name is wrong if we try to find mm -hmm. even as an example Moses when we speak about mm -hmm. Moses Moses he have a brother his name is Aaron correct okay mm -hmm. we find the Quran saying that Harun uh, he is Ar Aruna and Moses if you ask any Muslim who is the father of Aaron and the father of Moses? What do you know about that? Who is the father of Aaron in Islam? Aaron um, and Moses are brother. Uh, they are brothers. Hmm? Okay. What is the father of Aaron? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, just let me Google and we will see. The name of the well, father, I, I will help you. The name of the father of Aaron in Islam is Umran. 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 But how they know um, Umran? I know that there is many Zoroastic cults that miss such names like Huran or, or something else. My friend, focus with me. This is the name in Arabic. I would take it easy, man. I don't know why we go. Like, I don't know. Don't fly too much. The name okay. of the father. Of mm -hmm. of of uh, of Moses and Umran and 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 Aaron is Umran. Okay. Now, the name of the father of Mary is Umran. <laughs> the name of the father of Mary, which Mary? Mary, this the mother of Jesus. <laughs> really, it makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, this is why this is why in the Quran, <laughs> this is why in the Quran, chapter nineteen, verse number twenty-eight. Muhammad he called Mary because he thought this is this is the sister of Aaron because Aaron in the Bible in the Old Testament he have a sister her name is Maryam. Yeah, it's true. Okay, so, so Muhammad because he is a because he is a fool because he's a fool he 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 learned that that Mary uh, Maryam is the sister of Aaron and she is the sister of Moses, therefore. You know, uh, Mary is his sister. So he said, okay, in the chapter 19, verse number 28, oh, uh, sister of Aaron. <laughs> and, and when Kabul Ahbar, who is a Jew, he said to him, who is a Jew, supposedly became a Muslim, 
he said to him but this is wrong you know this guy he became a Muslim because he have no choice otherwise he will get killed oh sister of Aaron the father was not a wicked man or etc so you say to the Muslims why this happened they will say to you the Prophet he answered about that when he heard that the news people they are saying that this is wrong this is a mistake he said no in the old days they used to call Mary or to call the person by the ancestor but look at this is stupid he, he tried to fix it he make it more stupid because Mary is not from the ancestor they are not from the same family they are from the same tribe mm -hmm. Moses and Mary they are not from the same tribe so how is going to be the ancestor Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how they try to fix it. It's stupid. But because he told them that Moses, he is the son of Amron, and mm -hmm. this is the father of Moses, and this is the father of Aaron, and he heard that Miriam is the sister of Aaron, so he said, okay, oh, Miriam, the sister of Aaron. And as you see here, not even a single name in the Quran is coming correctly. His name is wrong. We cannot find who is Isa. Abraham mm -hmm. name, even the Quran. Sometimes he write the word Abraham. Sometimes he not write Ibrahim. Sometimes he write the word Abraham. Mm -hmm. Why? So uh, don't even continue to write Abraham. Right. So uh, mixing with different connotation of names, you write Abraham. Then let, Abraham, let me tell you why. Abraham. Muhammad before he sat between the Jews, the name was Ibrahim. After he sat okay. with the Jews, he learned that this is stupid. It's not. So he starts saying Abraham. Okay. And this is again a proof that Muhammad is a false man. Because either it's Ibrahim or it's Abraham. Why are you mm -hmm. changing it? Which one is the correct one? It's a name. You know, there's no there's no options for the name to change to play with. The name is a name. So why here with Yah, with Yah and Nabara, those who speak Arabic, and why there it is without mm -hmm. Yah? We took the whole letter off. Ibrahim and Abraham so what mm -hmm. happened when Muhammad learned from the Jews mm -hmm. uh, that this is the correct name he started correcting himself and he started he stopped saying Ibrahim he starts saying Abraham Whoa. and this is additional proof that the Quran is not why Allah will make a, we call the, the same guy like I mean it's the same name exactly the different is just a letter why he is changing the letter why you know, there's mm -hmm. the, the Muslim they say to us, Allah is God and He don't do anything for no reason. Okay, what is the reason? If it's Ibrahim, Ibrahim, what he changed his name after a few years, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know. So because he's a false prophet, he cannot be consistent and he update. You see, when <coughs> Muhammad always he update his religion. As an example, in the beginning, Muhammad he used to fast Ashura. I don't know if you heard of Ashura. Okay. Okay. What is Ashura? The Muslims, they are so confused about Ashura. Some, they say that Ashura was a pagan practice and Muhammad used to fast it. Okay? Mm -hmm. And even Muhammad, he says that if you fast the day of Ashura, just, just Ashura, Allah will forgive your sin for the last year. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we know that there are many pagan Hamites. Was Ashura a Hamite? Or how could we find even anything that says anything uh, about Hashra if he's a pagan or a heathen or a special uh, from a special Bedouin tribe or anything if you, you know it doesn't matter what, what the point is the point is Muhammad cannot be a prophet because here we go he's trying you see Muhammad trying to make himself a prophet like the rest the Christian they have fasting the Jews they have fasting even the pagan they have fasting so how he don't have a fasting so in the beginning, he started adopting fasting, which people used to practice before him. And then mm -hmm. you see Muhammad even saying to them that the one who fasts Ashura, Allah will forgive his sin for the whole year just for fasting one day. But then Muhammad, he learned about Ramadan, which is the fasting of the of, of the Sabian. And then he decided to, uh, to ignore Ashura. Suddenly, Ashura is not important. Suddenly, Ashura is in the garbage. What happened? So it was exist in the pre-Islamic period. He adopted, mm -hmm. he practiced it, and he as a, as a Muslim prophet. Then and mm -hmm. it is if you read me here, I don't know if you can see the screen. It says um, I can see it. The, the prophet the said. The prophet huh? said. The prophet said, fast the day of Ashura for indeed, it's mm -hmm. uh, uh, anticipate that Allah will forgive the sin of the year before it. Do you see how important that day is? 
So you have to because uh, sin is with um, blood um, guilty when you offer any meat. So you have to offer every year. My friend, focus with me. Know, focus with me. I'm not talking about the animals now. Just focus. Focus with me. If you fast the day of Ashura alone, just fast it. Forget about animals and chicken and burger. If you fast this day, Allah forgive your sin for the whole year before it. That's mean that this is a very ex extremely important fasting. Do I agree? Mm -hmm. To the point it forgive our sin for a year, not for a day or one sin, the whole year. I mean, this is a joke. So how how Ashura suddenly became not important? And Muhammad, he dumped it and he said it's not important to, to, to do it no more. Why? He replaced it with Ramadan. So Muhammad is a person. He hijacks something from you. He learn it. He like it. And then he do not need it, so he throw it away. If this is a teaching from God that fasting Ashura one day is equal to, to, to delete the sin of the whole year, then God should not change his mind about this fasting day. What happened? Allah, he changed his mind. It was important, and later it became not important. Are you getting so, my point? Uh, can we, yeah, can we see something like that, which the Arabic name of Allah, well, because when it's also with the invention of Allah, what is a name of hidden gods, when it has many different connotations in the Arabic, you know, in my friend, in I languages. want you, I want you to focus with me in one topic in the time. I don't know why you jump to Allah. First of all, yeah, yeah. Allah, first of all, my friend, there is no such a name, it's called Allah. Allah mm -hmm. is not the name of the God of Islam. That is a joke. If you go mm -hmm. in chapter one in the Quran, chapter one, just the, from the first chapter, you will see the following. I want you to look with me in the screen, please. Okay, I will do that. All right. No problem. Chapter one in the Quran. You will see here it says, and I will show you the Arabic because I want to show you the Arabic change. If we read together here, you will see it says, Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Yeah. Bismillah ar Rahman. You will notice here there's an alif, right? This is an alif. Yes. I will write it in the top. But if you look at the Allah in the second word, there's no alif. You see, there's no alif here. Here is missing, correct? Here is missing. Yes. All right. Why? Because simply it is not part of the name. So what happened? Alhamdulillah. Let us yes. let us divide the, the word li la. Alhamdulillah. Li in Arabic means two. Li la. That is the name of the God of Islam. Mm -hmm. Li mean two. La. Is the name of the God La is the moon God mm -hmm. you can go right now and search in Google and you will find that La is the name of the moon God so it is not Allah it is La Allah is a L mm -hmm. which is a word equal in the old ancient Hebrew and Aramaic to the word God mm -hmm. so when you say Al La you are saying God La God, la. It's not um, one word, it's two words. The same as when mm -hmm. you say in, in Hebrew, you say Emmanuel. So God is mm -hmm. with us, or Elijah. Or you say, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like, uh, uh, for sure, Elijah is not God with us, the same as this guy, he said the stupid uh, Muhammad Hijab. But Il, Il always is mean God. So uh, uh, Ishmael, uh, uh, Israel, uh, etc. But before in the ancient language, it was Al, Israel, Mikael, mm -hmm. Daniel, Ishmael. All right. So Al is a word. This is why we say Baal, Baal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Baal, Al. So God, mm -hmm. Ba. The Ba is the God of the of the fertility, and this is the same God actually of the Moon God because the Moon God is the God of fertility, but they have different names. You know, every every territory they have a name for their god, but at the end of the day, all of them they are the same god. If you go in the Quran and you know, mm -hmm. the Muslim they say to us that Allah is not the moon god, correct? And mm -hmm. even there is some Christian they say who they are naive. They say how the Quran say that don't worship the moon, and he is the Lord of the moon and the sun, and then you say he is the moon god. Let me show you how we can prove that wrong. Okay. In the Quran, um, we will know that there is something. It's called Allah and Al-Uzza. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, after a lot and Alusa and this moon thing, can I ask you about Yunus Ten word Alif Lam Ra? No problem. Hold on. And let us let us focus on one thing at the, at the time. So okay. when we speak about Alat wal Uzza wa Manatu Tharistat al Ukhra, we notice that Alat. Who are the Alat or Al Uzza? Who, the daughters of do, a pagan do, daughter Okay, daughter of Allah. who? Daughter of Allah. Okay, why the Arab they thought Allah have a daughters? Because they learned it from pagan tribes. But that how? What, that how he tribes. had? How he have the daughters? Um, isn't there a verse that uh, says that the uh, angels are the sons of daughters of Allah? I mean, uh, I let me tell you why. Video. The Arab they they believe that Allah uh, is the moon god who married from the sun god, and they have three daughters. So when somebody okay. says to us that this is not the moon God, then he have to explain to us how Allah he got the three daughters, which is from the marriage of the God of the sun and the God of the moon. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point? Yeah. So I'm it's the Quran confirming that by by calling Allah that He is the Father of Manat and Alat and Al Uzza. They confirm mm -hmm. to us that the Arab was worshipping the Lah God, which is the moon God, which he's married. Mm -hmm. He married from the sun God, and they have three daughters, Manat mm -hmm. and Al Uzza and Al Lat. Manat is the God of death. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is why it, the, the name, it comes differently. If you notice with me in Al Uzza, you will notice something. I just uh, I taught you something about Allah, that the name starts with A-L, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, here those are goddess, right? Al Uzza is God and Allah is a God, right? Yes, okay, this is why it says Al Al Lat God Lat Al Uzza mm -hmm. God Al uh, God Uzza. Uzza. All right, so this is confirmed even in the Quran that Allah is the moon God, otherwise, how Allah he got the three daughters of the God of the moon God. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. it my point? Yeah, I see your point. Okay. So now uh, let's go to Alif Lam Ra. I want. To okay, my friend, what... I will I will hang up you for for little. You can call me later because there's a Muslim wanna call me. Let's see what he wanna say about what we say. All, okay? right. All right. Let's see. All right. Thank you. All right. <coughs> call me, Abdul. Are we learning, people? Are we learning? Do you see how we can prove things easy? If Allah is not the moon God, then how the daughters of the moon God became his daughters? As simple as that. But usually people don't use their brain. I mean, people are, I don't know, most of people, they are slow. They don't have, they don't connect the dots. Imagine I am not the, f uh, like, okay. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Are you there? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, my friend, about Allah having three daughters? I actually wanted to bring up this topic mm. in regards to proving that Jesus had a God. Go ahead. Why Allah have three daughters? Can you repeat that again? Why the Quran is saying that the Arab they believe that Allah has saying, three daughters? I'm, saying I'm going to prove to you that Jesus had a God. No problem, but we have a topic here. Finish this topic. Finish this topic, and we can talk about Jesus no. have a God. No problem. No, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to your. I'm going to go to your Bible first because you never really mm. speak speak about your Bible. So I why I want to speak Jesus about my Bible? Bible? Hold on, hold on. Why you want to speak about my Bible if my Bible is corrupt for you okay. anyway? I got you busted from your book. I'm actually going to prove that Jesus had a God in your Bible. Because this oh, is what you believe. You okay, believe okay. Uh, hold scripture, on. Let right? me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let, let me let me make it simple for you. Let me make it simple for you. Let me make it simple for you. Jesus in the Bible says, "My God and your God," correct? Actually, in Matthew twenty, I lost. My God, you. my God, why has thou forsaken me? Hmm. Well, here Jesus was what? quoting in the Old Testament. This is this, this is from the Old Testament. Where they prophesy no, Matthew, about Matthew Jesus. Twenty-seven forty-six. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Yeah, my friend, are you listening? Why, why, my, why my, there, my, my friend, are, are, are you, are you, listen, are you listening? Do you God, want to listen God. or not? This is a quotation from the Old Testament. 
the Old Testament is speak about the Messiah when he is in the cross he is going to say the following my, my God why, why are you forsaking me so if you are an ignorant this is your problem and we answer no, this one just, million times you just said what I just said hmm. my God my God has thou forsaken me if you're claiming that Jesus is God why is he gonna say my my God friend is he is quoting he is quoting sense. this is why he said it's complete are you deaf that, are you deaf or stupid are you deaf or stupid he is quoting the Old Testament you see how stupid you are you want to talk to yourself let me answer you you ask me a question let me answer you why Jesus said why are you forsaking me right or God forsaking me correct no he's saying my God my God okay if I show you that this is something is mentioned in the Old Testament what you will do and Jesus was quoting them. What you will you're do? Basically saying no. I, basically I, I, saying I am basically saying I'm saying to God, you: God, if I show God, you, God, if I show God. you from the Old Testament that this is what the Old Testament said exactly. You show me in the Old, Old Testament. You are claiming you're claiming that Jesus is God, but then Jesus is saying Himself, "My God." Because my this God. is a this is a phrase was no, spoken no, no, about no, no, Him. No, no. I got, I got it's not you. up to you. It's right not there. up to you. Nope. It's not you up right to you. There. Let me talk. Let me talk, nah, Abdul. Potato, right potato, potato, potato. Listen, listen. Let, let me let me ask nah, you a question. Please. I got you. Let right me there. Uh, you can't see anything. Get lost. He got me. That's it. He got me. Jesus is quoting what is said about Him. There's more than three hundred sixty sixty prophecy about Jesus. And Jesus quoting what is written about him. My God, my God, why are you forsaking me? So if you are a donkey, this is your business. We can go to the book of Psalm 22 and you will see it says, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Exactly the same sentence. But how you can speak to a donkey and you say to you, you are, uh, I get you here, I get you. I get you, I get you. <laughs> I get you, I get you. <laughs> you get yourself in trouble, you idiot. Jesus in the cross, even he is in the cross, he is confirming, saying, see, this is what it says about me. Yes, Abdul. You you hung up on me I'm because you are stupid. Okay, read I'm for me. Read for book. me. Read for me what the Bible in the Old Testament says. Does it say that in the Old Testament? Do you does it say that in the Old Testament? Yes or no? Repeat repeat the verse. Does it say exactly what Jesus said in the Old Testament? Yes or no? Repeat the verse in the Old Testament. Yes. My God, my God, why you have forsaken me? If it says that in the Old Testament, it doesn't change anything because he's still saying it. What you're claiming? He is quoting from the Old Christ, Testament. Right? He is quoting from the Old Testament a prophecy about him. What do you mean? Doesn't change anything? They are prophesying but about him. So, so this is this is why God, this is why in the cross he said it's complete. Why? Everything, all the prophecy why? about me why is complete. My, my friend, why? because this is what God. the this is what the Old Testament is saying, speaking about him. Even if it's in the Old listen, Testament. Listen, listen. Let me let me play for you. Let everybody laugh at you. You like to be laughed at? Listen carefully. Go for it. Psalm twenty-two. My God. My God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me, and from the words of my roaring? O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the night season, and am not silent, but thou art holy, O oh thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. <laughs> Our fathers trusted in thee. All right. So did you see the Bible saying you're exactly laughing. the same you're same laughing, sentence? Right? I'm laughing, laughing at you you're because you are stupid. Jesus, so Jesus saying Jesus that is what is a, what is a prophesy? God, what a prophesy God, about right? Jesus is mentioned in the Old Testament about him. This is what he will say, and this is exactly what happened. So I now refuted you. Let me ask you a question now. If Jesus why, have why, a God, why, hold on, why, hold on, hold why, on. Why, if Jesus, why, if Jesus has why, a God why, as you claim, why, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I got you busted. Now let let. You asked me a question about my Bible. Listen, Abdul. You asked me a question about my Bible. I got you busted. Let me ask. Let me ask you a question. Who is the one who created the children? Who is the one who created the children of Adam? Abdul. 
Who is the one who created? Oh, oops, 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 blah, 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 blah. You are possessed. You cannot let me talk, right? Are you scared? Who is the one who created the children of Adam? I'm asking you, who is the one? Shut up. Shut up, donkey. Why you not let me talk? Are you scared? I answered you. Let me ask you a question. Who is the one? Who is the one who created the children? Shut up, donkey. Let me block you. You see, this is what they do. They will not let you talk. We let them talk, we answer them, we get them busted, and they will not let us talk. Cowards. They are possessed by the devil. I want to show you that Jesus here of God. Why he said in the Bible, my God, my God. Hello? Fucking nigger, fucking nigger, fucking nigger. <laughs> and his name is Alhamdulillah. <laughs> his name is th thanks to Allah, and he is he is cursing th the black people. What a filthy idiot, satanic! You see, this is what I say. The Bible says, "From their fruits you shall know them." That is Islam. I do not even need to debate and to prove it. If those people don't have the devil inside them, they will not be speaking in such a way. They don't want to listen. They just want to talk and curse and call names. Cowards. And I am here to defeat you. And I do. You know, the devil scream loud because he is in pain and he will not let you speak because he think if he shout too much he can cover the sound actually Muhammad he spoke about the Muslims about this look what Muhammad Muhammad is a wise man by the way look what Muhammad he said about the Muslims look like he knew what he have The wise Muhammad, he claimed, that when Shaitan he hear the word of God, he start farting loud so he will not hear it. But Muhammad, this is what the Muslims do. The second we start quoting for them from the scriptures, they go mad and they will not let us talk, start farting. When Satan hears the call to the prayer, he turned his back. And look, he will not fart without turning his back. I mean, look how rude he is. He turned back and break the winds in Arabic. So as not to hear the call being made. And this is what the Muslims do 24 hours, seven days a week. A farting nation. They have no knowledge. They are copy paste and they fart. Gaz. All of you have no knowledge but gas. And if this is a teaching of a prophet of God, if this is the prophet of God, the wise man who Allah made a plastic surgery for him and he installed a dish of wisdom in his chest. What about the foolish Muslim? If this a wise man is speaking about this, that shaitan he fought. If your best man is a stupid, who in the world would believe such a garbage? Imagine we have now Muhammad in CNN. And Mr. Muhammad in CNN is teaching us about God. And he says the following. I want to say to you a very clear method. You should know that when we call the Allahu Akbar, Satan start farting. And I can prove it for you. Okay, I'm going to say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, and I will start reciting Quran, and you will see the smell in the room will become disgusting. How you can explain that to me? Obviously, Satan is farting. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? This is your wise man. If this is the wise man, who is the donkey? This is a wise man.
Wait, wait, uh, Sayed, wait. <clears throat> Give me a break from you for today. Call me tomorrow. Let us see if we can get some Muslims. Please, if you are Muslim, because this Sayed, he is almost out of Islam, I can't tell. If you are a Muslim, give me a call, please. There is only any any Muslim. Any Muslim. Anyone? How in the world can you can believe in such a garbage? You see, I do not need to examine Muhammad so much to know that he's a false man. This is a, this is a statement of a false man. Shaitan, he play with your penis if you don't say a prayer before you have intercourse with your wife. This is a prophet of God. My friend, don't call me now. You know, say it. Don't call me now. Let us see. The prophet said, when any one of you has intercourse with his wife, let him say, Allahumma jannibni shaytana wa jannib shaytana ma razaktani. Okay, now you are going to have sex with your wife. Your wife, with my respect to everybody, she is horny and she is excited. And now it's time for a prayer. She took her panty off, she took her bra off, and she is waiting for your majesty. And now you are standing in the bed and you say, Allahumma zannibni shaytana wa jannib shaytana ma razaktani. And you have to repeat it, right? Allahumma zannibni shaytana. And the wife like, uh, husband, are you going to come or are you go to the neighbor? Are we going to do that today or tomorrow? Like, what is the plan? Let me know, please. And why you want to do that? Because if you don't do that, Shaitan he around his self around your penis, and he will be doing your wife, and the son will be the son of the Shaitan. <coughs> Let me try to find it for you. I will do this. And you see, this is Sahih, Sahih. Let us do this in Google because there's more details they are hiding here in the in translation here. <coughs> hmm. Okay. Shaitan, he reached anywhere in the human body. All right. This is the hadith. <coughs> hmm. Text me first before if you 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 call me please to be sure you are not this uh, idiot who keep calling the black people names. I want to check your IP. Uh, let us see. Well, here it doesn't show really much. Um, this is the same one. Okay, let me block you. This is the same guy. <clears throat> Mm 
What do you do to protect your unborn child? <laughs> what do you do to protect your unborn child? You say this prayer, brother. This prayer is a must. Okay. Uh, from the child will never allow Satan to go control over him. Well, this is false translation. Okay. You a young version who will remind you of how you were. <laughs> Look at this hadith. <laughs> <coughs> it was narrated that Al Qama ibn Qais said, I was with Abdullah ibn Mas'ud in Mina, and Uthman took him aside. I was sitting near him. Uthman he said to him, Would you like to marry a young child? Here they say young version, by the way, it's a child who will remind you of how you were in the past. Do you see the perverted people? All of them are perverted. It's not only Muhammad, this is Uthman. It's not only Muhammad. You see, remember Muhammad when he said to a guy, why you don't marry a child so she can sport with you? The same story. Uthman is talking to a guy, trying to convince him to go sleep around with the children because that will remind you of how you used to be. They are very old people, yet they are going around looking for little ones. Let us continue. <clears throat> all right. Anyway, all of it is garbage. I mean, like uh, every chapter, every piece, every. Uh, let us see this one. Commercial, commercial. Commercial, commercial. Look at those Muslim website. I mean, look at those. Look how big the text. What is that? What the heck is that? Those people, they are blind. Oh, this website have topic, have topic. Ah, okay. Prayer wearing shoes and command to do so. Prayer on the ship. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. <coughs> Let us get out of here. This is stupid. Do we have any Muslim in the bushes when I call us? Anyone? Hmm. Look at all those stories. Muhammad is a big mouth man. This guy, he never stopped talking. Look, 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 look. Tons, thousands, millions of hadith. Nobody knows how many hadith there is. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like to call? I found the Reno. I get you busted. Your Jesus have a God. Because he said, uh, Oh my God, my God, why you forsake me? Da la 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 la. My friend, the Muslims, because they are hypocrite, they remember Jesus as a human when they want. But they don't remember that Jesus is alive and then now according to the cult of Islam. And then now Jesus in heaven. Why he is a human is alive. 
everybody die except Jesus the Muslim they remember that Jesus is a human when they want but they forgot that Jesus he resurrected people from death he created birds he created the humans he created the blind eyes he made the eyes for them he can't tell you even what you had in your house as the Quran said so you remember that Jesus is a human when you want and you forget when you want how he is a human and the Quran says that he is holy when the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a big-time sinner hmm? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim would like to call us? May they, may they. Now, all what you need to do to protect your son from being the son of shaitan just say this prayer and by the way just to show you how stupid Muhammad is because look what he said he said a man before he he have sex with his wife he have to say this prayer right but any one of you notice what the mistake in this and how Muhammad he hit himself by that Muhammad father he did not say that the prayer when he have sex with the mother of Muhammad that's mean Muhammad himself is a son of shaitan are you getting the point? Because what Muhammad is saying here, you see the translation here, it says that, uh, that Satan will not hurt him. He's talking about uh, shaitan having sex with your wife. So if Muhammad's father was not a Muslim and he did not say that prayer when he had sex with the mother of Muhammad, that means Muhammad himself is a son of shaitan. Have you ever heard a stupid prophet like this? He just, he just confirmed to us that he himself is son of shaitan. There was a Muslim, he used to come uh, to, to a Christian chat room and program called Pal Talk. The admin there, he said to me, uh, Christian, can you take the mic and say something to this guy? Always, he's annoying. He take the mic and he say the same. He keeps saying to us, you are a son of shaitan, son of shaitan. And we do not know what to say to him. So I took the mic and I said to him, are you sure that this hadith is sahih? He said, yes, it's sahih. So I said, are you sure that if a, if a guy, he did not say the name of Allah and this prayer before he have sex with his wife, the shaitan, the son, will be the son of shaitan? He said, yes, absolutely. Again, I said to him for the third time, are you sure that this is a very accurate story that the one who did not say this prayer, he is going to be the son of shaitan? He took the mic. He said, what's wrong with you? Are you stupid? Why do you keep saying to me the same question? I told you yes already. Yes, yes, yes. So I took the mic and I said, well, isn't your prophet his father was not a Muslim? Which means he did not say this prayer? Which means Muhammad himself is a son of shaitan? He took the mic and he started saying, May Allah curse you. May Allah destroy you. May Allah... You are smart like the devil. Like, like, like a puppy, you know? I'm smart like the devil. You are the stupid like the devil. I ask you three times, are you sure? Are you sure? This is why the Muslim, when they hear a Christian prince saying, are you sure? They, they freak out. The second I say, are you sure? It's mean there's something. There's a bomb is going to explode right away. Are you sure? Oh, Muhammad, he told the Muslims, there is every human being, he have a Satan with him. They call him Qareen. But the difference between uh, Muhammad and the rest, Muhammad, he claimed that his Satan converted to Islam. Yes. Muhammad, he have a debate with the Satan, he converted to Islam. Let me show you the hadith. <coughs> and the Satan, from that day, he command him to do good. Do you see it? This is a Sahih Hadith.
But Allah help me against him, so I am safe from his hand, and he does not command me, but for good. So Muhammad admitted that shaitan, he command him, but he give him good command. Like what? Uh, clean the windows. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a religion believe there's a good shaitan and bad shaitan? How you say he is a devil, and then he command you good command? He is the devil. There's no need to prove that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness and he is certified stupid. Any Abdul? <coughs> Your prophet, he got command from the devil? So Muhammad is sergeant and the devil is captain devil. Do we have any Muslim here? You see, always the Muslim, they try to downgrade Jesus and they think by doing that, they can elevate Muhammad. Trust me, my friend, regardless if Jesus is God or not. You cannot elevate Muhammad. I never saw someone. He was down in every way, in every me. My friend, don't call me today. That's it, Sayyid. For today, just today. Uh, let me. I want to get Muslims. Man, come on. You cannot elevate Muhammad. If I go right now and check out if Muhammad was bewitched, okay, how I'm going to follow a man he was bewitched? If I say to a Muslim, you are following a bewitched prophet. And actually, I encourage you always to say to the Muslims that you have a bewitched prophet. And you will see how they will react. Why they get upset if we say that to them, if their books and their prophet wife, she say that. Once the prophet was bewitched, so he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he did not. I mean, name one thing for me, Muhammad, he did not go through. Muhammad, he said, my cousin did rape me. Muhammad, he kissed men down their belly. Muhammad, he licked the face of Osama and he says, I wish Osama was a girl. I will dress him until he get married. Muhammad, he put eyeliner three times a day. Muhammad, he pee like a woman. Muhammad, he said, I never received Quran except in the clothes of my wife, Aisha. Muhammad, he color his head when I be red head, he want to be blondie. Can you find something normal about this man? Why an Arabian man with a black hair want to make his hair blondie? Not only blondie, actually, red head. You tell me, what is the point? Muhammad is going to a fashion show. He was from Los Angeles. He was from San Francisco. He's wearing jeans, have holes in it, and he have rings in his ears, and he decided to make his hair green, blue. Why a prophet of God is interested in changing the color of his hair? And not only he change it, he make it red, which will make your ear look really crazy. Not blonde, red, red. Let me see if I can show you some uh, some about how Muslims today they are trying to copy Muhammad when it's come to the beard. Let me show you some pictures. Hold on. <coughs> Just to show you the madness of this man. Let us see.
I'm just trying to find you some pictures. Oh boy, some of them, they are bad. Let us see different things. Okay, I know an Imam, I will search for him, Al-Imam is Zendani. No, he is not even here. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Guys, this is how Muhammad used to do make his hair. Take a look. And the Muslims today, they are doing the same. As you see, this guy is doing the same exactly. Do you see it? Do you think this is a normal behavior for any human being from Arabian tribe? Hey, by the way, tomorrow I will be busy. I'm going to go to the barber shop because he is going to color my head fire hair. So I will look like the devil. <clears throat> no, uh, Skype is uh, working, but you call me without asking for permission first. If this is you, you are blocked, my friend. Don't call me directly. Call me, ask for permission yet. We have some people calling and cursing. <clears throat> Let me see your name. Okay, I unblocked you now. Yes. Hello. Go ahead, we hear you. Hello, Christian Prince. How are you? Go ahead. How are you, brother? I'm all right. What do you want to say to us, my friend? I just want to know what is your opinion on Zakaria Botros? Well, he is a very knowledgeable man, and he studied a lot, and he is a Christian priest, Coptic priest. Okay. What, what type of Christian are you? Me? I am the type of who follow Jesus. Oh, so you don't have the nomination? No. You don't go to church? This is my church. Here we go. I have 400 people trying to learn, and we are refuting people to accept Jesus. What do you want more? And you don't have communion? Are you going here to investigate me? Are you Jibreel? No, I'm just wondering. Why you are you wondering? What's your business? Christmas, What's your business? Christian practice. What's your business? This is not normal Christian practice to go church, have communion, mm. repent. Mm. Well, my friend, uh, Jesus, he said, do this to remember me. And I remember Jesus every day. So if I go to the church, I go when I can. And if I cannot, I am here and I am teaching. I'm doing my mission. So you do go to church? Sometime when I can. Oh, cool. Yeah. And now are you happy now? Do you think I will go to heaven? Because, like, Do you agree I will go to heaven or what? I don't know. It's up to you and God, you know? Oh, okay. Because look like you are investigating me if I'm qualified to go to heaven or not. No, I'm just wondering. Oh, okay. But what about you? Are you Christian? Yeah, I'm Christian. Okay, and what do you think about Muhammad? Uh, <laughs> there's a lot to say. Mm, okay. Uh, and, and you know, uh, about going to the church and doing communion, do you think if you do communion, you go to heaven? No, not just communion. Okay, what's, so what we need to do as a Christian so we can be with Jesus? We need to do his good deeds. Okay, what is the good deeds? Follow his way of life, forgive, mm. love. Mm, okay. Did you bring people to Christ? No. Okay, so what good deeds then? If you cannot even bring one person to Jesus, so what is the good deed? I'm just trying to learn, you know? Oh, okay. Well, my friend, before you focus in the communion, what about you focus on what Jesus told you? He said, go and teach and preach and tell the people about him. Bring the word to him. 
first we need to learn when and then he, we teach, right? No problem, no problem. But you know, you, you focus, uh, you know, sometimes there are some Christians, they focus on rituals or let us say remembering Jesus, but they forgot that Jesus, he said, yes, do this to remember me, but this is not what Jesus is about. This is just to remember him, to remember what he will do to you, what he crucified for you for, what he what he came for. But you have a mission to do, and the mission is not just to remember and to pray. It's to go and do work. A tree, okay, um, a tree who does not give a fruit is going to be cut off and thrown in hell fire. So if you don't have a fruit, then you are you don't belong to Jesus. Even if you go and do communion, where is your fruit? That's true. Okay. Um, so what um what questions would you suggest we direct to people like the Muslim speakers at Speakers Corner and things like that? What do you mean? <laughs> like when we go to Speakers Corner, the Muslims that ask us questions, ask us questions. What questions would you suggest we ask them back? What what questions you mean? What questions? Yeah. Well, watch my videos. Every every video of mine have thousands of questions. You pick up the one you wish it's it's for you. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much, CP. You're welcome, my friend. God bless. Take care. <clears throat> you see, you know, sometimes we, as a Christian, we focus on things. Sometimes we act like Muslims, you know, like uh, they pray five times a day. You know, Jesus said, if you pray, go to your closet. I mean, I'm not going to tell you if I pray when I go to the church, when I don't go to the church. This is my church. A priest, he go to church. He have a nice service. He stay there for three hours. He go home. He have a nice salary. He meet you next week. Christian Prince, he spent his life teaching. In the last 24 hours, how many hours I spent in my 24 hours teaching? Have you ever seen a priest doing that? Most of them, they are doing business. The same as Muhammad. They go to the church for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, one hour. They give you a speech, and even the speech is not even their own. They read it from a book, a book written by another preacher. They have no time for you, and they repeat the same words it's been said before. This is not what Christian church is about. You see, when, when, uh, when the apostles of Jesus were going around, they don't have a churches. They don't have buildings. They preach wherever they can. They can do so, and that is really Christianity. The church is us. Is not a building. Today, there is many. They are doing business. It's called the church, like Muhammad. Muhammad he established a business, big, big corporation. <clears throat> and there is many priests. They are the same as Muhammad. They are corrupt. They are false, and they are false teachers. Even the Bible says. Listen to them, but don't do what they do. Because they say something and they do something. And if you want to know of a priest, if he is really a preacher from God or not, try to find out certain questions and the answer for them. Ask him, what do you think about Islam? If he starts saying, oh, Muslims are Abrahamic and they are worshipping the same God, and that, that's it. This guy X is a false man. He is doing business. If you ask him about homosexuality, what the Bible say about it, and he avoid to answer, that's mean he is X. The Bible is so clear. Ask him sensitive questions, and you get the answer right away. You do not need to attend 20 years to know what this priest is about. And ask the questions in public, not in private. If you don't dare to say the answer to you in public, he is a false man. Do we agree, guys? Do we agree? What priest and what church and what is that? You know, we are not, we are not pagans. Our priest is the best of us, which means whoever is the best of us, we let him be our priest. Let him let him be our teacher. Nobody is born as a priest, and nobody inherited the job. 
and the message was given to all of us and we are equal even the Messiah himself he washed the feet of his apostles if our Lord our God he washed our feet how we should be so our leader should be someone he wash our feet not the one we he asked us to kiss his hand for that is not what Jesus did if Jesus is God, but yet he worshiped, you know, he 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 washed the feet of his followers and he said to them clearly, if you don't let me do it, because they said, like, how are you going to do that? We cannot let you do that. And he warned them, if you don't let me do it, you don't belong to me. I do not know you. The master in Christianity, to be a master, you have to be a servant. But what we see today, that those who claim that they are serving Jesus, many of them, not all, not all, they are masters, but they are not servant. There's a priest that visits you just because you are rich, because you will make a big donation. Make a big donation, everybody will praise you. You know, the bishop, they will talk to you, they will call you. The same as Muhammad. Muhammad, he promised 10 people to go to heaven. The first one who? Uthman ibn Affan. Why? Because he gave him a lot of money. Jesus was with the poor and he blessed the poor and he said and he mean here when we speak about the rich he don't speak about every rich he said it's going to be harder for a rich man the same as a camel enter into a needle the eye of a needle but that rich is not a rich man it's a rich who is bad a person who liked to keep but not to share In this world today, if you are rich, everybody promise you heaven. And you are the best man. The Bible says if you give with your right hand, don't let your left hand know. What today they do, they go in the church, we say, thank you, Mr. Johnson, for donating $50,000 for us. And Mr. Johnson is wearing like his tie, and he's so proud about himself. Mm-hmm. I donated 50,000 like he praise me. Here we go. I am the good guy That is not Christianity My friend I don't believe in priests. I believe in Jesus who is the priest the Bible says every human being is a sinner So why you want to believe in priest? Should we believe in priest or we believe in God? What priest? Man, man is a sinner, is corrupt. You, you put your trust on me, you put your trust on him, you are a fool. For all of us, we are sinners. I can be tempted. Who said I am better than you? Human being can be tempted so easy. Make a woman, way, beautiful woman with short skirt, Walk in the front of a bunch of men and see how their brain will fly in a second. Ooh, the brain will fly. You see, they say that the women are half a brain in Islam, right? The fact men are the one who have a brain. The second they see a woman with short skirt walking by, the eyes is gone. The eyebrows is flying with the wind like Muhammad. How you trust a man? If you do so, you are a fool. And I know people don't like honesty, right? People, they like hypocrisy and people, they like you to say things they like to hear. I say things as it is. I don't care what people like, what people don't like. I speak things as it is. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. And there's many of those priests, they will say, Lord, we made miracles in your name. Even they are doing miracles in his name. Imagine. He will say, depart from me. I do not know you. That is the Lord's words, not mine. <clears throat> in 
anyway God is good and God don't leave himself without witnesses I met a lot of wonderful Christians you know uh, once I met uh, a European man he was a missionary in the Middle East he have a bicycle and the bicycle is so old I mean it's rusty to the point if you leave it outside nobody will steal it which is really something happened in the Middle East like this you have to lock it with 10 locks in order to have it stay there but because the bicycle is disgusting nobody even want to steal it and maybe even they will make a donation for you because you are very poor later I found that this man who is a missionary he is a son of a very wealthy rich family when I was a kid he used to come to our house I used to make fun of his shoe because his shoe have a hole in it I was a kid I do not know what I'm talking about I say why what why you don't change your shoe come on spend some money you know and he laughed and I'm making fun of him he's wearing the same pant the same shoe year after year after year and one day I found that this man is a son of a very rich very rich family in Europe he inherited all the money he have and he gave every penny he got to spread the Christianity what do you say about such a man you tell me this is a real Christian not those priests who they are driving fancy cars nice suit big ring in their hand big houses big villa vacation every few months they want to go to Hawaii a priest like Muhammad he's asking for a buying an airplane for him this is the real man And my friend there's a lot of those people around and those are the real Christians anyway do we have any Muslim would like to call us anyone anyone who is a Muslim would like to call us please Koboli here in Philippine who is a Koboli I don't know I don't know such a name in the Philippine my friend I heard in the Philippine two weeks ago the Muslims they killed a Muslim uh, preacher who is a they're trying to convince uh, Shia, Sunni uh, Shia to Sunni so look like Muslims they killed each other how you come to know about Jesus like everybody you know I study and I faced a lot of questions in my life because I grew between Muslims and that's why I study Islam I decided to study Islam because nobody dare to speak about it and nobody dare to refute the Muslims and the Christians need somebody to answer them and the more I study Islam, the more I find out how amazing and how beautiful it is to be following Jesus. And how stupid it is to be following Muhammad. So Islam actually helped me to find out the difference between diamond and rust. I don't believe in priests like me my friend there's no Christian believe in priest we believe in one priest and our priest our priest is Jesus so I don't know what do you mean you don't believe in priests like me our priest our priest is Jesus he is our priest he's our prophet he's our teacher he's our master he's our God he's our Savior so don't be silly mr. Andrew
Do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? Thank you, Simon. Who is a Muslim want to call us? There is nobody is born of a Christian family. Yes, like by birth, yes, I'm born from a Christian family, but does not, but that does not make me born as a Christian, right? We as a Christian, we have to be born again with Jesus, and we have to accept Him with full knowledge. And this is why there's many who they are born of a Christian family, but they do not know anything about Christianity. That will not make you Christian. Anyone? Well, you guys are asking me to talk about many things. Let us talk about something useful. Hmm. I'm really disappointed. I thought we would have a Muslim to call us. Let us see what we will talk about. I'm, gonna, I'm going to do this. I am going to type one letter in the search engine of the Quran. Just one letter. Give me the letter, guys. Wherever the verses come, we will talk about it. What is the first letter you want me to type in the search engine? <clears throat> Give me a letter. A. That will make the whole Quran appear. <laughs> Look, nothing appear, man. Look like if we type one letter, nothing will appear. Look like you have to give me three letters, maybe, or two. <laughs> I type A, nothing appear. Uh, <coughs> there's no Z in Arabic, my friend. There's that. <coughs> You see, if you type one letter, it doesn't appear anything. <coughs> Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us see. Let us type the word three. All right. If you remember before, we mentioned the story of the, the Christian youth who they have a dog supposedly and they slept in their cave for 300 years and nine. Who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us what this story is about? Christian youth, they slept in the cave for 309 years. Any Muslim want to tell us how this happened? Anyone? Yeah, if you want to learn Arabic, I have a few video teaching for Arabic. Search for Arab for a Christ. Arab for a Christ. You will see my video there. It's for free. You can learn Arabic. <clears throat> Any Muslim want to call us and tell us how and what happened here? Those Christians, they slept for 309 years. Any Muslim? Anyone? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim when I call us? We can change the topic for you, Muslims, if you don't like this topic. No problem. 
This topic is very embarrassing actually. Muhammad, he copied the seven sleeper story. You can go and search it in Google and you will find that Muhammad, he claimed that his God told him this story, which supposedly nobody knows except him. And this is a fiction story made by a Christian minister from Syria. His name is Jacob or Yaqub. And this is story supposedly meant or fiction story written to tell the Christians who they are under discrimination have patient that what is today is bad to do tomorrow is going to be better and we will be victorious. Actually, all this chapter, chapter 18, all of it is nothing but a collection of stupidity. Everything. Not even a single story. <clears throat> Any Muslim? So do we understand that today there's not even a single Muslim is proud about his Quran? Listen, Muslims, I'm really tired. My eyes hurt. And I think this is the best time for you to take me down. I did many hours of broadcast today. I have a kind of a headache. So I think if you call me right now, you will win. I think. I'm not sure. What do you think? Hmm? In other words, I am weak now. What do you say, Muslims? No. Mm. Yeah, I'm weak. Like you know, I uh, my eyes hurt. I'm looking at the screen all day. Let me put the light of this screen down because really my eyes hurt. Let's make it darker. Oh boy. You know. When first time I did read the story of Muhammad mother when she gave birth to Muhammad a light came from her vagina I was saying to myself I feel sorry for the women who did delivery to Muhammad for sure she was blind because the light came and the light reached all the way the palaces in Syria in Damascus so you can imagine how a kind of a new nuclear explosion it was and the funny, not even one single historian reports such a light, neither in Syria, neither in the way to Syria. The only one who said the light is Muhammad mother. Not even people in Mecca. Not even the grandfather of Muhammad. And by the way, uh, a Muslim man is not allowed to look at his wife's vagina because if you do that, that will make him go blind. In case you do not know. You know, the, the Jews, the Jews, uh, they taught Muhammad a lot of stories. Sometimes Muhammad, he gets smarter than the Jews. And sometimes the, the Jews, they get Muhammad busted. One of the stories the Jews, they told Muhammad, is the following. That if you have sex with your wife from behind, your son will be blind or he will have a cross eyes. Will have a cross eyes. Muhammad, in this case, he outsmarted the Jews. This is a chapter 2, verse number 2, 2, 3. Let us go there. Read carefully with me. The Jews said, 
the Jews used to say whoever have sex with his wife from the back you see by the way uh, the Jews they did not say if you have sex with your wife from the back position uh, the children they would have across eyes they were saying if you have sex with your ch with your wife from the wrong location you know what I'm talking about your son will have a cross eyes Muhammad he wanted to prove them wrong and this is not about having sex with your wife from her private part the normal way it's about having sex in the anus and here they lie in this so Muhammad he wanted to say to them you are wrong because Muhammad obviously and the Muslim they always do it and nothing happened so he have experience so he told them your wife are the same as a tilt for you so dig in your tilt as you wish this is not about the front or the back this is about the anus Muhammad he gave a permission to his men to have sex with their wives in their anus the Muslim here try to defend and they say no this is not about the anus this is about having sex from the back as a position but that cannot be for a very simple reason Muhammad is saying your women are tilth so they are the same as the ground so dig as you wish where you wish anywhere you like Do we have any Abdul? Your women are tillage for you. That is the place where you sow the seed of your children. So come to your tillage. That is the specific specified place in the front part, as whichever you way you wish. I mean, here think about it. Allah is God, and yet Allah is telling us how to do bing bong to the women. Don't you find that this is silly? Muslims? <clears throat> Allah is teaching us position based on the interpretation they show us in the front of us here. Do your wife as you wish, standing up, sitting down, laying down. Should we put pictures? From the front or the back. Don't you find that this is silly? Who is a Muslim want to call me? <coughs> the Jews always, they got Muhammad busted. As an example, if you remember, when they ask Muhammad about what make the the baby uh, male or female Muhammad he said that the baby resemble the parents if the father have orgasm first the baby will be a boy if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a girl and this has all happened because the Jews they tricked Muhammad. They made him say stupid things. Read it carefully. Muhammad near he is answering the Jews. The Jew guy he asked him three questions, or somebody the Jews sent him to ask. He asked him. So he came to the Prophet and he said, I will ask you three questions nobody knows, which means the answer, unless he is a Prophet, which is very stupid because the guy, he knew the answer, but yet he's not a Prophet. Then, firstly, what is the first portent of the hour, which means the sign of the Judgment Day? 
Secondly, what is the first meal for the people in paradise? Look how silly the questions. I want first meal. I mean, this is a question. Are we going to eat falafel the first meal? Mm, this is only prophet of God. He knew what is in the kitchen of Allah. <laughs> I mean, do you see how silly the topic is? And then what make the baby look like the father or the mother, which means male or female? Let us jump to the story of the female and the male. Muhammad, he said, and if, and if the man discharge proceed that of the women, then the child resemble the father, which means the baby will be a boy. And if the women discharge proceed the man, then the child resemble the mother. And then the man, when he heard this, the guy, he said to him, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah, you must be a messenger of Allah. Because Muhammad, he said something stupid, the guy, he was supposed to be converted to us now. Because if Muhammad is not a prophet, how he knew that if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl? Hello, come on. This is a pure science. Which is very stupid. Most of Muslim women, they never have orgasm because women, they do circumcision in Islam. This is why Umm Salama, she never heard of something called orgasm for women. Because obviously Muhammad he never made her or have orgasm. <clears throat> Let us see. Look at this. The wife of Muhammad, she never heard of orgasm. Umm Salim, Umm Salama said, Umm Salim said, O oh Allah Apostle, Allah does not refrain from saying the truth. Is it a, uh, uh, like is it a must for a woman to take a bath after she get um, orgasm? Look, I mean, look, look how filthy the society is. Very open society, hippie. He said yes. If she notice water, i.e., discharge, which means in her vagina, Um Salama, she said, smiling, she said, does the women have get a discharge? Muslims, are you there? Your prophet never made his wives have discharge to the point she don't know. She never heard of discharge. Women, they have discharge? Are you serious? Any Muslim have an answer for this? Why Umm Salama, she never heard that women, they have discharge? Abdul who is a Muslim knows why Muhammad never made Umm Salama have orgasm how she is married to Muhammad, she is his wife, but she never heard of women having discharge. Who want to explain to us? Any Muslim?
Who is a Muslim wanna call me and tell me what's happening? As you see here, a woman she is single. She saw a dream. What a dream! She touched herself. She got this charge. Um Salama, who is the wife of the Prophet, she never have this charge. What's happening? Any Muslim have anything to say? Who is a Muslim when I call us? Why Umm Salama she never have this charge? What Muhammad was doing? He do not know how to do it or what? Any explanation? Uh, Abdul Amir, I like your hijab. Isn't it this guy? Are you saying that guy, the one who said Allah, he prayed for? Is that the one you are saying he did whip the floor with David Wood? Well, as I know, that he whipped the floor with your face and the face of every Muslim because he just admitted that Allah, he prayed for, not to. And to prove that this is the case, I challenge you to call me and to say I agree with hijab when he said Allah, he prayed for, not to. Do you dare? Let us see who whipped the floor with who. I believe that David Wood, and he was relaxed because he was smiling and said to himself, look at those a bunch of fools. Look what they did, a mockery of their prophet. They are laughing, but the fact they are laughing at themselves. How your hijab, he said, that Allah he prayed for. Who was the Muslim when I explained to us how hijab he says such a thing? Every Christian now remember one thing from that debate. That Allah he prayed for not to from the old debate nobody remember anything except Actually, I have to be honest. I remember two things show me Answer me Elijah mean God with us Show me Allah he prayed for uh, let me okay. I know this is coming. I know this coming You do not speak Hebrew and you don't speak Arabic. Please come on. Come on. Come on. Don't embrace yourself Allah he pray for this is why the translator said Allah he pray for not to now I want you if you are really proud about him to call me and to confirm and to agree with him if you are a man call me silence me show me it's like a Billy dancer in the stage you know what is missing is to take off his bra and start shaking it show me I want you to call me and silence me do you agree with hijab when he says Allah he pray for not to Hold on, let me put it for you in the screen. So that will stay in the memory of the head of many for many years to come. Hmm? Show me. Silence me. Show me. Why you don't show me? <laughs> show me. Allah. Pray for not to, you idiot. Here we go. Are you happy? Who is the Muslim when I call me and confirm that? Who is the Abdul is willing to call me and here we go. I will give him ten st five stars to your brother. Here we go. I will give it. I will put him in the star field. Here we go. Put him in the stars. The stars going around your hijab now. They are going getting dizzy because now Allah is praying for not two. Hmm? The earth is moving around. Look, look, look. The the, the earth is getting in, like around itself. Like whiz, what the guy is saying. Allah pray for. Not to what the heck is that mean? Allah pray for not to Allah pray for. I'm trying to digest to digest this stupidity, but I cannot digest it. Why you don't call me as long you are proud about hijab that he destroyed David Wood? My friend David Wood, if he take a booger from his nose and he throw it at you, you will not be able to carry it because you are busy with Allah praying for not praying to. Now, why you don't call me? Hmm? Another guy is saying to me, 
Christian princes, did Jesus, the creator of the world, pray for himself? That's a good question. So how Allah pray for, not to then? We as a Christian, we believe in the Trinity. Jesus is speaking to the Father. Your God is speaking to who? You believe in the Trinity? Abdul? Allah pray for who? Huh? See, we are using your brother argument to silence you. Allah, he pray for, not to. You stupid. My Jesus, he speak to the Father. Your Allah speak to who? To Allah? When he pray for? But Jesus is the Father? Mm, that's a good question. Don't you know what the Trinity mean? The Trinity mean that there's a three person, one God. So God came to us as a man. That is Jesus. When he is not a man, he is free from the body. He is the word. And the same time, the word is God. So Jesus is speaking to the Father. That's the man in the flesh speaking to the Father. Jesus said, everything I have is given to me from my Father. But he did say in the same time that everything in heaven and in earth is given to me. Including judgment. So Jesus presents himself to us. Okay, you see a man in front of you, but don't worship me. Worship God and me. We don't worship the flesh of a man. We worship God who became a man, not man who became a God. Now, who is the Muslim when I explain to us how Allah he prayed for, not to? Jesus speak to the Father. Allah speak to who? Are we going to have a Muslim who is serious? Okay, I will change the screen for you. <clears throat> Your hijab, he said to David Wood, for 4,000 years. For how long? For 4,000 years. Jews worship one God. 4,000 years. How your stupid hijab, he says such a thing. Isn't it the Quran says that the Jews worship a guy, his name is Uzair, and they say he is the son of Allah in chapter 9, verse number 30. Isn't it the Quran in chapter 9, 31 says that the Jews, they worship even their rabbis and their monks? So who is the donkey here? Your brother, he exposed Islam and he said clearly that Muhammad is a liar because for 4,000 years, show me, show me. Oh, Israel, your God is one. Show me, show me. How the Jews, not even a single rabbi, not even a single rabbi, brother, 4,000 years, 4,000 years, not a single rabbi was instructed, he, he was instructed to worship God alone, he worshiped other God, 4,000 years. So the Quran is a lie. You just admitted that Muhammad is a liar. Because for 4,000 years, not a single Jew worship any God beside one God. So how you want to answer that? My friend, the one who is hiding, not David Wood. David Wood is there, and I am here. And I open my scab 24 hours a day almost. And, and uh, even the Muslim, they challenged your potato to call me and to debate me. He said, inshallah, I will debate him, but he never did so. And he will never do so. All of you Muslims, you run away from me. Just two days ago, they asked Shabir Ali, when you are going to debate a Christian prince? He said, Inshallah, I will debate him. Inshallah. Face to face? Hmm. Guys, they want to debate me face to face. <laughs> face to face, face to face. Okay, if you can organize for me, debate face to face with, with Zakir Naik, I will debate with any Muslim face to face. Can we do that?
and I promise in the front of everybody if you can bring me Zakarnak to debate with me face to face I will accept to go in the stage face to face because I'd like to smash you from the head if you think that this guy the guy with the beard of the goat you think he is your best let me smash the head forget about the tails face to face where your God face you know your God Allah never appeared to Muhammad how come you Muslim never asked Muhammad how come he did not even speak to Allah you're a prophet he never heard the fart of Allah face to face as to us oh hold on you remind me of a verse in the Quran Muhammad he got a very strong knowledge he mentioned all the parts in the face he wanted to follow the law of Musa so look what he said have you ever heard of a prophet saying this and we describe for them the life for the life the eye for the eye the nose for the nose the ear for the what what the nose for the nose, the ear for the ear, the tooth for the tooth, the toes for the toes, the finger for the finger, the nail for the nail. Okay, are you okay? What is that? This is the law of Moses. Just to show you how the law of Moses understood in a stupid way by Muhammad. Look what he said in the front verse. If I kill a white man, free man, a white man will be killed. But if I kill a slave man, you kill my slave. Oh, who you believe? It's prescribed for you in the case of murder. Free man for the free man. Slave for the slave. Free male for the female. Have you ever heard of a justice like this? So you kill my female, I kill your female. You kill my slave, I kill your slave. Are you there, Abdul? Hmm? Who wanna call me? Who is a proud Muslim would like to call us? What do you think? <clears throat> a free man if a man if a free man if the if the murder action involved a free man is killed a free man killed for a free man not for a slave see the justice if a free man killed a free man a free man will be killed and a slave for the slave What do you say? You don't like the interpretation? I can't change it for you. Let's go to Ibn Abbas. What do you say? Free man, if a man, a free man killed another free man, he will be killed and a slave for a slave. What do you say? Well, anyway, Allah, he pray for, not two. I mean, that's alone. Actually, I'm afraid that one day a hijab will call me and he will say to me, Allah, he pray for, not two. There's an uh, uh, an Arab Muslim who have a long hair, like he's like, he like to be like a girl. He made a video supposedly to support hijab. And he said, it's really, you know, obviously there is some ignorance here. And I feel sorry for David Wood. In fact, the word uh, the pray for li and two is the same in Arabic. It's the same. There's no difference, which means he's just admitted that Muhammad hijab is a donkey. It's the same. It's the same. And then hijab, he made a video. He got the other one busted. So they are getting itself busted. Hijab, he made a video saying that the Prophet the Quran said 
خذ من اموالهم صدقه تذكيهم صلي عليهم اوكي صلي عليهم it's the same exact word in the Quran صلي عليهم is that mean the prophet he is worshiping them no it means he pray <laughs> thank you for quoting that verse <coughs> Stupidity is amazing. He quote for us a chapter 9, verse 103, and he says, Okay, I will give you an example about the same verse David Wood he quote for us. The same exactly. Huh? It says, Take arms, take arms of their worth, and pray in their behalf. Pray for them. And he's saying here, the word here is exactly as it's mentioned in the other verse about Allah And you can go and see the video made by hijab and you will laugh. He quote this sentence. He said, this is exactly the same as it is in the other verse. But as you see, salli alayhim mean pray for them. So thank you very much. Allah he pray for. Oh, you don't see the screen? Sorry, it's my fault. I mean, okay, let me show you the screen. <clears throat> All right, do you see it now? Chapter 9, verse 103. It is Hijab who quote this verse to prove his point. He said, this is exactly, pray on them here is exactly the same as the one they quoted in the debate. And I have the video actually of Muhammad Hijab and I made a video about it and you can go and watch it and laugh. And he is the one who said, the verse here says the same as in the other verse, وصلي عليهم. And he said, does it mean that the Prophet he is worshipping him? No, it does not mean that. And actually even David Wood, he did not say that to you. He said to you, your God Allah pray for who? You stupid idiot. You just admit it. That Allah and Muhammad, both of them, they pray. Allah pray for Muhammad. Muhammad they pray for the Muslims. But they pray to who? They pray for, but to who? <laughs> hmm? Do we have any Muslim on a call? Do you see why your potatoes don't dare to call me my friend? They are potatoes. They are busy with the pray for, not to. I like it, actually. I like it. Allah, he pray for. And I like that Elijah mean God is with us. I just learned Hebrew from you. All my life, I wanted to learn Hebrew. Actually, I learned two languages in one debate. I learned Arabic and Hebrew. I learned that you salli alayhi mean pray for, not to. And I learned that Elijah means God with us, and let me school you in Arabic and Hebrew. And before he started the debate, a hijab, he was comping his hair, his, his beard. Have you ever seen this the Joker? This guy is coming to like he's you know, the girls will be watching him now. So he have a he have a comp. By the way, his prophet used to do the same, but he his prophet used to do that for the lice. His his beard is full of lice. So before they start the debate, he start camping his hair, his beard. Mm -hmm. He have the he have the tablet in front of him. He turned the camera selfie, and he's camping his hair, his beard. I mean, you do that in the stage? Are you stupid or what? In the if this is what you do in the stage, and there's you are live in YouTube, there's hundreds of people watching, and you are camping your beard with the with the comb. You look pretty. You look really pretty. Show me. Silence me. Anyway, who is Abdul when I call us? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul?
No, Abdul. Very disappointed. You know, like, I mean, I thought Muslims will call us and we will have a good time together. Want Abdul to call? You are Abdul? Okay, call me if you are Abdul. If you are Abdul, if you are not, then I will hang up on you. Go ahead. Suku uh, uh, Fuku. School Fuku, or whatever your name. <coughs> call. Let us see how good you are. Maybe you can do better, you never know. <clears throat> Any Muslim before we go? Don't worry, if he's a kid, we will deal with him as he deserves. <clears throat> All right, guys, look like we don't have anyone want to tell us about Allah. He pray for not two, and this is very disappointing. Maybe next time, if we go tomorrow on air, we will have somebody he can explain to us how Allah he pray for not two, the same as Muhammad he pray for them. And obviously, we are really convinced with their uh, Muslims uh, your, your brother they run away all the way to Africa and away from the Muslims this is why they run out to Africa and suppose they are doing that what they are right yeah but the truth is they are running away because if they go to the uh, speaker corner the Muslim would laugh at them anyway guys I want to say thank you for being here don't forget to download our videos and don't forget that my videos will not stay long in my channel. I clean my videos from time to time. So download, share, post a new video. Uh, celebrating pagan God, the process. Uh, okay, my friend, we don't celebrate pagan God in December 25th. That's a big fat lie. We celebrate Christmas, Christ. Every day, the Bible says, every day is the day of the Lord. So pagan people who used to celebrate Pagan God, they exchange the pagan God with the Christ, and that is hurting your ass. We have a Christmas, you don't. What do you have? You are so upset because the whole universe celebrates the name of Jesus in Christmas Day. That is the fact. That is the fact. Every day, is the day of the Lord he is the Alpha he is the Omega every the time belong to him he don't belong to time he is out of time so you are upset because in a few days from now even your child will say Merry Christmas your child will go to bed dreaming about the Christmas because the Christ bring happiness to every heart from the young to the old and you Muslims, you have nothing in your life. You have Ramadan, which is nothing but hish, shish kebab and hummus. You, end, you finish the month, your, your ass became like a balloon. You are bankrupt. Your salary is gone. You borrow money even to buy food. The price of food goes so crazy because this is not fasting month. This is eating month. This is why the price of food will go skyrocketing. What do you have? What do you have in Islam? You cannot even let your child to go to play outside because somebody will kidnap him and will rape him. If you're a prophet himself, he likes children. What about you? And you know what I mean by like children. Can you let your daughter six years old alone in the street in Islam? You're upset. Because we have the Messiah, you have nothing. You are the one who have a pagan. You are the one who kisses stone. Pray in the front of a stone. Pray in the direction of a stone, and you lick a stone. <sniffs> stone. And by the way, the stone is a vagina. And you are talking about pagan. Look who is talking. Look who is talking. A black stone kisser. 
if the American right now kidnap your black stone and they put it in the sewage somewhere, what you will do, Muslims? Seriously, what you will do? If Trump, he kidnap the whole Kaaba and he can do it easy and he put it in the sewage of Las Vegas. All the Muslim prior direction will change to Las Vegas. And they will put a bunch of a blonde striptease and that will increase the number of Muslims who want to visit and do Hajj. And you are talking about paganism. Your religion is based on stones. You kiss a stone, you go around a stone, you pray in the direction of a stone, and you believe a stone is holy. So who is the pagan? Why you don't call me and talk about it? What do you think? You want to call me? My Skype is still open. Do you want to tell us why you kiss a stone? We ask the Muslims why you kiss a stone, they say, because the stone is holy. We ask them why the stone is holy, they say, because the Prophet kiss it. <laughs> and not only that, your prophet said that if you touch the stones, two stones of the Kaaba, the Yemeni corner and the black stone, Allah forgive your sin. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes? Um, we do not kiss Kaaba for nothing. Why you kiss the stone? Because it's holy, it is made by Abraham. The stone made by Abraham, yes. He he went with uh Ishmael mm -hmm. to make the stone. Who said it's, that to you? I want to show you who is the I want you to show me who is the donkey. He told you that the stone made by Abraham, it says in Quran. No, okay, show me, hadith. okay, show me then the donkey who said that. I challenge you. Can you show me? Um, let me look. I'm looking it up. I will give you 10,000 years. Is that a what? good deal? I will give you 10,000 years to find me the reference that says that the black stone made by Abraham. Mm. Hmm. 10, uh, 12,000 years. If you want, I can it's, play for you the audio of Muhammad Hijab saying, Show me and silence me. Show me. It's uh Sahih Bukhari, mm -hmm. uh, Prophet's volume four, mm -hmm. 55. Give me, give me the hadith, I will, I will put it in the screen. There's no such a thing, that's a lie. Remember, you, you said that Abraham, he is the one who made the black stone. He make it so it could be a temple for God. No, you said Abraham, he made the black stone. Show me that. Where you get this from? There is no such a there is no such a thing because your your prophet he said that the black stone was sent from heaven. So why how Abraham he made it if if Allah he sent it in heaven, which means Allah he cooked it in his stove in the heaven. Uh, I don't know. I mean, hmm. why, okay. Why? I want you I want you to look with me in the screen until you find me after ten thousand years what you said. Do you see what it says in the screen? Your prophet he claimed that if you touch the black stone and the Yemeni corner. Allah forgive, but Allah, the stones they forgive your sin and they erase your sin. What do you say? How is stones if we touch them, our sin is erased? How that happen? Um, that does not sound good. That does not sound right. I agree. That sounds stupid, actually. That's mean you know if you do believe in that, uh, you are a pagan. You sound like a smart person now. Okay. So what do you think now? It's not sound good. What we would do? Um, maybe that the false hadith. Why it's false? I mean, Muhammad he said that. What what's wrong with Muslims? Why did Muhammad kiss the stone? He did, right? Yeah, but okay, it, obviously, that, okay. So why he kissed it? If is it, that if, sahih hadith? We you know we can make it sahih for you. What do you want? You want us to make it weak or sahih? What do you want? Is it sahih? Does no. It, what do you want? If it's weak, what, what we will do? If, okay. If it's weak, what we will do now? If it's weak, is that a problem? Yes. No, because weak is accepted. You can go right now and search in Google, and you will find that weak is accepted. There's a sheikh, his name Sheikh Hamza. He explained to you that only foolish people, foolish Muslim, they think that the if hadith is rejected. It's not, it did not funk. This is what he said. I will quote him exactly. He said, did not funk, it passed. However, this is Sahih Hadith. Here we go. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. 
actually when I click it does not take me with the hadith where's the hadith where the hadith is gone hold on I click and the hadith did not take me to the hadith okay it says here Hassan sorry Hassan okay but this is Sahih this is Sunan and Nisai anyway but have you not seen Dr. Zaki Naik? Oh, Zaki Naik is a very nice person I call him every day can you tell me why India banned Zaki Naik? what what? How, why India banned Zaki Naik? I don't know I mean India is suffering from too much mosquitoes maybe that is the reason I don't yes, know. so Zaki Naik mosquito? Well, I know, like, I met, a, I met a lady from Japan. Her name is Mosquito. Is that a problem? You know, I, miss, I, met, I met with Miss Suzuki, Mosquito, uh, Miss Fly, and I met with Miss Zachary Naik. I mean, wh what is special about Zachary Naik for you? Is he, is he so good for you? He's smart. He's very smart. He's smart. Okay, let me tell you what Zachary Naik said, and you tell me if this is smart or not. A woman, she asked Zakir Naik, why in Islam a woman, she don't have 72 version? You're Zakir Naik, he said. But the titter, the titter, he'd ask a question. Why in Islam, we don't have a woman, he the prophet. Sorry, not this, that's one. Why why a woman in Islam, he is not going to have 72 version? First of all, the word hur in the Quran is a plural word. It's not a male or a female. Therefore, it's impossible for a Muslim woman, she will have 72 hur. Do you agree with him? That your sister or your mother or your wife, she will have seventy-two men to f her. Uh, yeah, if that is true, then yeah. Mm, you have no problem that your wife is having seventy-two. Some okay, well, my friend, if you agree with him, that means you agree that uh, Zakir Naik is a donkey, because the Quran says that those who they did not bleed, losing their virginity. Um, How they are male, it's possible to be female and male, and the Quran says, Lam yat muthahunna. They, did not, they did not lose their human, the, 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 the virgin Christian. skin. You Let me uh, call back later. You want to come back later? Why? Because I need to do something. Okay, do something. But don't forget, I want you to read the chapter 55 and verse number 56 and 55 and 70, 55, 74. Okay, and that will thank show you, you that Zakir Naik is a certified donkey. Okay, okay, thank take you. care, my friend. Thank you. This guy, he don't have a problem if his wife she have seventy men sleeping with her, seventy two women men. I mean, they are very open minded religion. I mean, what we can say, they don't have a problem. His heaven, she is going to his wife. She is going to heaven to take her her panty. Her legs is up, and man after man is coming, and everyone his penis is endless. Very open-minded religion. And I'm sure he was going to take video, like video camera. And my wife, are you happy? Yes, honey. They are not like you. They are so good, honey. In sex, not like you. God, I mean, look what this. I spend my life with you. You don't even know how to do it. Look and learn. Mashallah. In the front of ten of thousands of people, Zakir Naik he says to you that your mother she will have seventy-two effer, and you Muslim you say Allah Akbar. It's in the screen, my friend. Fifty-five, fifty-six, and fifty-five, seventy-four. Do we have any Abdul on a call? Anyone? All right. Look like we are. We have enough for today. I hope you guys you have a good time with us. Did we have a good time? I'm thinking seriously. Tomorrow I will not do podcast, and I will hold myself. What do you think? I should I do? Because my eyes really hurt. Really, really hurt. And I have a book I want to finish before the end of the year and look like I'm not going to finish it. Today is already December 16. And every day it says to me, I say to myself, I am going not to do tomorrow and the day after the day after so I can finish faster. And then after two hours from saying to you, I'm not going to do tomorrow, I come back. You believe it? <laughs> two hours after I say, I am not going to come tomorrow. I come back and do live podcast. <laughs> 
I think Jibril is coming to me. I mean, non-stop. What I can do? You know, the Abdul, they challenge me, and I cannot resist the temptation to smash and you know, and unbelievable. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, God is good, and I'm sure each time, each time we do a broadcast, uh, more and more Muslims they will leave this cult. This is a very stupid cult. You do not need to be genius to defeat it. Just learn. Learn how Muslims they talk. Learn how Muslims they play their games. Muslims are gamers. They are not debaters. They try their best to change topics. They try to fool you, but they cannot do that with us. Just be vigilant and don't allow them to change topic. The second you let them change topic, they get away with what you get them with. And for those who they are angry because we have a Christmas, we do, and you don't. And in a few days from now, my friend, the whole world, the time, the clock, your computer, your watch, your salary, work by the date of Jesus the Christ. You like it, you don't like it. Spaceship, computers, internet, salary, everything in this earth work by the name of Jesus when you are going to celebrate the new year in case you do not know that is the year of the Lord which Lord the Messiah the Christ when you get your salary it's written there a date do you know what that is is that date this is after a Christ hours and minute and second paid your wages is by Jesus you like it you don't like it it is a fact you hate Jesus very much but you cannot get away with him or from him and yes I mean to that he is the king of kings he is the king of kings and it doesn't matter how much you try to fight him you are going to end to be the loser and the clock is going and let us see what will happen thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you and i will see you soon again remember that you have the best of the best the king of kings the name of the best of the best names and the wise of the wise and the god the good and our god is good so is jesus he is good he never commits sin he is perfect he is wonderful he is amazing he is a miracle for god is a miracle and he will show his miracles within you let us be his miracle god bless you and see you soon take care bye bye